Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreak.com. Happy Tuesday, coming at you with 2020 Panini Luminance Football. Six box, half case, pick your team at number seven from a fresh case. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action right here. Appreciate you getting in to this. On 28 Mark, last spot Mojo Bengals. And then if you see a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won those spots in, uh, in that hanger box break. Separate video, you'll see it on the... Video list if you want to... Did I upload it? I did. Yes. Good job, job. Did upload it. And there's the fresh case right here. So let's pop this baby open. All right. So we've got... Six on the top half right there, and two, four, six on the bottom half right here. So we're going to select a die. We'll select that one. We'll go one, two, three for the top six right here, and four, five, six for the bottom six right there. Fair enough? And it's two right there, so it'll be the one, two, three. So it'll be the top right there. So these are the ones we're going to do tonight. And in fact, these we're going to save for break eight, which has already sold out straight up. No fillers or anything. So we'll do these right after this break. All right. Good luck, ladies and gents. Good luck. Here we go. There's Raheem Mostert to 299. And Thaddeus Moss, 27 out of 50 for the Washington football team. I guess still the no, I guess they're not the Redskins anymore, right? No more? They're officially the Washington football team. Jordan Bond. I don't the team sounds a little awkward. I wish they went soccer style and went football club. That sounds cooler. And we've got, out of 99, we've got John Ragor, Eagles. And from Thaddeus Moss to Zach Moss. So Thaddeus is actually Randy, Randy Johnson's kid, nephew. And Zach Moss, unrelated, at least directly. 167 out of 299 for the Bills. Buffalo! That'll be for Robert Jones and the Buffalo Bills. Jordan had the Redskins. It's a two fifty. If I miss any of those, I'll make sure our shipping crew will find those and send those to you. Here's Devin Bush. Do I have enough top loaders here? I would, I would love a batting cage in my house. I feel like once I flip these right side up, it'll turn in, it'll go the other way. Three out of ten. And CeeDee Lamb. Nice. Year one on card autograph. Nice. It's a. Uh, Cowboys or did the Cowboys get Jerry Judy? I'm going to mix those picks up all year long. Cowboys. 
swing fresh again. And it is now swing quickly two away in the six. Days turned into week. There wasn't anybody in the world that didn't order something. Uh, what do we do before and after zone? Jeez, that chat's got a really smart idea. Went to the store. There you go, Dallas Cowboys, Jordan Bond with the boys. Next spot, and you can still you can see the stack of boxes on the top camera right up there. Javon Kinlaw, 250 for the Niners. And we've got J.K. Dobbins, Ravens running back. 165 out of 299. Man, ladies and gentlemen, do you realize how wild and like slash awesome this football, this uh, fall season is going to be? We're going to have basketball running late into fall, baseball running late into the fall, NASCAR, NFL running into the fall. Like, we're going to have more sports, and then we're probably going to know what to do with. There's going to be daily, there's KJ Hill, Chargers, 13 out of 50. There's going to be times during the weekends, like when we're doing like Saturday breaks together on jazbeescasebreaks.com, there may be days where we're just like, all right, so we got uh, a hockey playoff game in the morning, we've got the afternoon game for, for baseball, then we've got an NBA playoff game at night. And then the uh, then we got a or on a Sunday or something like that. And then we got an NFL game on. Then we got Sunday night football. It's gonna be crazy. Tom Brady at two ninety nine. Right, there's gonna be at some some point in the fall, if I get my calendar right in my head, there'll be. Playoff hockey, playoff baseball, playoff. I don't know how any, how long the NHL tournament is going to take, but there might be three different NHL, NBA, MLB playoffs plus regular season NFL. That's going to be wild. Kyler Murray, it's pretty wild. There you go, Serenity with the Cardinals. Looks a little different, doesn't it? There's all Sean Jeff. Like, could there be? Now I'm curious. I'm gonna have to look at the calendar at some point and figure this out. There's Anthony Harris, Vikings autograph to 99. Oh man, I'm definitely doing this. Dodger Stadium is having a uh, pet cutouts, pups and cat cutouts. So uh, Bubba the Pug is definitely in for a photo shoot this weekend. He's gonna. Uh, getting him to sit still that might be a challenge. Although, if I have a little snack, and I tell him to sit, he's pretty good about that. He's pretty well trained.
All right, next box. This is Nathan Rourke to 250, and we got Juan Thornhill. Relic for the Chiefs. It's going to be for Robert Jones in Kansas City. And we got for the Bills. Isaiah Hodgkins to two ninety nine. Buffalo Robert Jones. I feel like Joe Kelly would be the kind of guy that would plunk Alex Bregman right in the ribs. Although he, Joe Kelly wasn't part of that twenty seventeen team, so I don't think he cares as much. Couple Tom Brady's for uh, Jeffrey Punt and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is his first card in a major set with him in his Buccaneers gear. I like the way Luminance looks too, so that's pretty strong. Mark Andrews, autograph for the Purple Birds. That will be for Rokio. It's to 44 out of 49. 49 out of 49. And a one of one Khalil Mack. Just a base card, but that still looks pretty sharp. Jarrell Taylor with the Chicago Bears. Duh, Bears. Mack attack. Return of the Mack. Return of the Mack. Mark Morrison. <laughs> All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. You lie to me when I stop laughing for you. You lie to me when I fail. That's my Mark Morrison impression. Return of the Mac. Oh my God, return of the Mac. Yes, it is. Jerry Judy, red ink autograph. It's pretty spot on, I think. Uh, Jerry Judy went to the Broncos. All right. All right, and then, and then my Raiders took rugs. All right. Gotcha. Denver, that, I mean, those two picks will be will be intertwined, I think, for the rest of their careers, whether they like it or not. Uh, Ethan Burleson, Nate's brother, with Denver. Right, and I think that might be one of the shorter printed printed ones. All right, halfway through this half case break, we got the second half sold out. So we're going to be doing that right after this. We've got a lot of orders coming in, too. So thanks, everyone. Nick Stover, super jealous of that K-Mac. What's crazy is that he came out of... Uh, what I, I'm not sure exactly, to be honest, and, I, and I'm a Raiders guy, too. I'm not quite sure how that story went. He was at... Buffalo University, which I don't, I don't follow a lot of college sports, but I don't think that's a big, major, you know, university producing top class defensive ends, right? Like, how did they luck into that? There's Ed Reed, just good recruiting, maybe. Just flew under everyone's radar until he started playing in college. Oh, his brothers play there too. His brother plays there too. But I'm not sure, was, was he just not well recruited? But it just seems like he just kind of went under everyone's radar. And then like three or four years later, it was like, this guy's a stud. And then all of a sudden he was like, he was like, yeah. I mean, no one would think, like, everyone, people were like, people, you wouldn't be crazy if, he, if this guy went number one. And then he delivered. I mean, he's an excellent player. There's Anthony McFarlane Jr., 299. That's for the Steelers. 
Steel City, Nick T. Yeah, Dodgers looking good, Chris Maxwell. It's not over yet, but... A.J. Dillon. And we've got Justin Jefferson, Minnesota Vikings. It's 299. That'll be for Mark Winter and the Vikings. He won that in a um, team random. Yeah, a lot of people have gotten back to this because of the corona boredom, Ray Hughes. But... Um, yeah, everything everything is is uh, for products like this. It's all inserted randomly. There's Mark Winter for the Bengals. Some cynics will claim no, but yeah, it's all random. Another Brady. This one's Patriots edition now. And we got Eno Benjamin. I think the only thing they specify that has to go into. Sometimes certain products will have what's called a case hit, so it's like one thing per case. It might not be the most valuable thing, but it's literally just one a case. So I think those are those are made sure that they are inserted um, properly for each case. But I think it's only until you get to the the higher end levels. Cardinals, you know Benjamin. I think when you get to like flawless where there's only like eight or ten cards a, a box or something like that I think those are hand-packed but even then I think there may even be some randomness to it too Dodgers up 5-2, bottom of the sixth in Houston. Houston went out to an early 2-0 lead, and then Dodgers got back five runs. I don't think Joe Kelly really has a beef with the Astros. I don't know if he's going to plunk anybody with this. I don't know if the Dodgers score a couple more runs later in the game. I feel like they might plunk a plunk a ass or, or two. I saw that inning, Chris Maxwell. Yeah, the Dodgers playing some classic station to station baseball. It was really nice. Have we not even seen a base two yet, Eric? There's T Higgins. And T. Higgins to John Riggins. Riggs, I'm getting too old for this. Jordan with the Redskins, or the Washington football team, as it's called now. Going to make us wait all season to, to figure out a name. I think there'll be, I mean, there'll probably be like market research, fan voting, all sorts of things. There's uh, Jordan Brooks, 75 out of 100. For the Hawks of the Sea, Rokio with the Hawks. Come on, Joe Kelly. Joe can have these kind of outings where his stuff is 21 out of 50. Almost like a you know? Jared Pinkney for the Falcons. And for my Raiders, it's Lynn Bowden Jr. to 100. He's supposed to be a real electric player. Can play a lot of different positions. Make some dazzling highlight plays. He might be a little... He didn't get drafted very high. might be still kind of a bit of a raw player. I think teams aren't sure where to, how to deploy him in action, but the Raiders can figure it out. There's Jonathan Taylor, year one autograph green.
Oh. There it is. Uh, this is a Colt. Joe Kelly sailed a sailed the pitch, eighty-seven miles per hour, right over, right at, right at his head, right at Springer's head, no Correa's head. It's not an accident. Sit down, Carlos Correa. I mean, Joe Kelly will say no. Actually, he might have. He hasn't been in control this inning. But it certainly looked like it. This is the first incident. In the liver. Oh, there's another one inside. Uh, Jonathan Taylor is a Indianapolis Colt, by the way. That'll go to Mark Winter, who won that spot. Correa steps out of the box, baby. Not not so easy when you know when you know what pitch is coming to you, huh, Carlos? Especially in clutch situations. Don't f this up, Joe Kelly. Ooh. He didn't know what he was want, what he wanted. Three years ago, that would have been a home run. It's more Brady. I think these Brady Bucks cards are still selling well out of Luminance. We got Marquise Brown relic for the Purple Birds. That will be for Rokio and the Ravens. This actually is a big pitch in this game. Marshawn Lynch, 99, Seahawks. Oof, that was close, Joe Kelly. There's Trayvon Diggs. Nine out of 50. Stefan's brother? Cousin? Brother. Yes? Brother. Dallas Cowboys with Trayvon Diggs. Trayvon goes to the Dallas Cowboys. That will be for Jordan Bond, who had the Jerry Judy earlier, too. C.D. Lammer. There's two a tag of Viola. Rookie card for the Miami Dolphins. Got a play to the whistle, Eric. Eric won that in a team random. Nice. There you go, Joe Kelly. Oh, look at that. Joe Kelly mugging at Carlos Correa. Showing him the sad fit. Joe Kelly will fight. Yeah. Shut the F up, Joe Kelly saying. What? Stay, stay on. It's like, you guys cheated, not me. Oh, Yuli Gurriel's out there? Uh-oh. Benches are clearing. They're having, uh, I'm sorry, having discussions on the mound there. So social distant. This is kind of funny. These baseball players really aren't going to fight anyway. There's Philip Rivers. Hold me back. James Morgan, year one. No, it's not. They're a little bit closer than six feet, huh? Most of them have masks on, though. All right, I don't, ran out of regular top loaders, but we'll top load that guy. I've got about 13 prison choice boxes. Just right in, all at once? Yeah. Woo! It, like open live? No, no, he wanted a simple. Woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Oh, don't go to commercials. Um, I forget where James Morgan goes. Jets, maybe? Yeah, Jets. He's. I think he's backing up Sam Darnold. Young backup. Marinate for a little bit there. Jets. It'll be for Robert. And everyone has a shot at the 250 points. That's your break, ladies and gentlemen. Break eight coming up right after this. But let's give away some pointy pointers. So from Serenity with the Cardinals down to Jordan and the Redskins here in 2020 Luminance football. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a five, nine times. Name on top of F9 gets a little consolation prize, the 250 points. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a ninth and final time. That'll go to Jordan Bond. There you go, Jordan. 250 points going your way. Thanks for watching, everybody. Second half of the case coming up, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.